really hard trying to find good light when you're blocking the car, man. Okay, 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 okay. I know you're just going to the video. Chill. Share the video. Share, share the video. Take a screen recording or something. Share the video. Instagram. WhatsApp. Share the, Share something. Share something. Then come back. We're doing this, man. I'm on 600 subscribers. Thank you so much for the new subscribers. Um, I'm trying to get to 1K. And yeah, man. I'm trying to get to 1K subscribers. I'm trying to get 1K views. So share, guys. Share, share, share. Let's do the most and we get into this video. I got what I paid for. Kelly Kush, Ashley did my Gucci TPTs. I learned how to hustle way before my ABCs. Gang, 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 get with me. Bang, 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 bang. that's the weed. Bang, nigga, no, you can't hang. Jeez. <laughs> hey, our boy's back. You know how it is. So, I mean, at this point, you can see by the title, you know. It's uh, why. Don't do the friend zone part two. Uh, that video is actually the very first video I posted when I started this old YouTube thing. So, this was around this time last year. So, yeah, so I mean, uh, why not? Why not? Why you have to come back to such videos? Because, why? 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 Why do you want a friend zone? Like, you got the nigga dick, bro. Like, why do you guys want to be friends with a nigga that wants you, bro? But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get into that. Let's start the video. The way the video needs to be started, man. I am the lion, the king of the jungle. So call me more father Akuna Mata. You know what I really want, yeah. You know what I really want. If you're watching this right now, if you're watching this right now, pull out your phone. If you're watching this on your computer, whatever. Yeah? Pull out your phone. Snap this. What are you saying with me, right? I am the lion, the king of the jungle. Call me Mofaza Akuna Matara. Snap that, tag me on Instagram at um, Just Del or Dillian King Soliani on Instagram. Catch me on that and put link in the description, yeah? Why not? Why not? So, yeah, why I do not do the friends? But the, guy, the good guy play, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Because you don't need to be in the friend zone. Like, I don't need to be in the friend zone. Because women really know what they want. They want to get fucked over. Yeah, like, a lot of people want to say, nah, it's not all of us. Fact, fact, you're one of two people. You either go fucked over or you don't want to get fucked over. But when you do get your nigga, you either going to fuck him over or he's going to fuck you over. And that's the reality I live in right now. Let me tell you why you should say no to the friend zone. Yeah? Beggars are not choosers. Right? Beggars are not choosers. So you can't beg a hand to be with you. You can't beg a hand to choose you. You're either going to pick a hand that's into you or you're gonna let her go, bro. Like, don't settle for the friend zone. Don't do that. Don't do that yourself. If you settle for the friend zone, that just means another guy is gonna do things with your friend. Everything you wanna do. The nigga will take her out. She will snap that nigga. She's gonna give that nigga some. She's gonna tell you, oh my god, my weekend was so late with this nigga. And mind, those those are the very things you wanted to do with this girl. But because you settled for the friend zone, it's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. So don't settle. Beggars are not choosers. Now hear me, now hear me out. Beggars are not choosers, yeah? And these why women have so many options. If you have my number, you saw it, I put this on my status. Women don't actually have a lot of options. But let me tell you why they have a lot of options right now. Beggars are not choosers. But women have so many options right now because these niggas be begging. Bro. Mm. My G. If a hand tells you she wants to be friends with you and you're trying to clap some cheeks, you want her, bro. You either really want to, you probably want to cuff her, or you're trying to clap some cheeks, you get, you know, whatever you want to do, but just not want to be just her friend. If she says that's all she wants, dip, girl, dip. The fact is, 
men have more options than women have more options in men, bro. Believe me. But okay, cool. Let's let's get into something. Let me let me let me let me put you on. Let me put you on. How most guys get trapped into the friend zone. How most good guys get trapped in the friend zone. They are smooth niggas, persistent niggas that never not never but like barely get trapped in the friend zone because they're smooth. They not get themselves out of sticky situations. But let me tell you how good niggas niggas who haven't been dribbled before. Or they've been dribbled before but they still have hope. Let me tell you how they get trapped in the friend zone, yeah. Hannah's gonna tell you why she wants to friend zone. She's gonna tell you, nah, listen, I just got out of a relationship, or nah, n I just don't trust niggas, or niggas are just, yeah, whatever. So all you're cool, and you being the good guy naturally, bro. It's like it's like a, a save a hoe syndrome, bro. Save a hoe syndrome. Most people, it's built in. It's built in. It's a thing of okay, cool. We have now established that she has been fucked over. We have now established that her trust in niggas is different. So how am I going to be a different nigga? Guy, trust me. You don't want to be that guy. Don't do that yourself, bro. The fact that she told you that a multiple or her ex fucked her over. Trust me, bro. Don't be different. The only reason why that nigga got with her is because he was the way he was. Meaning if you want to get with her, bro, you got to be on the same level, same wavelength that the you gotta be on the same wavelength as her ex. Believe me. You know, some people will be like, nah, bro, I'm trying to be better than her ex. Yeah, yeah, be better than her ex, but on the same wavelength, bro. You gotta be the type of nigga that can fuck her over. Do you understand? You gotta be the type of nigga that can fuck her over because, trust me, these hands are not looking for good guys. They're not looking to be happy. Yeah, they want to be happy, but then they're not looking for the guy that's gonna tell them, listen, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this differently. Nah, bro. No, I'm not telling you, tell her I'm gonna fuck you over, bruv. Tell the hand what you want. Truth is, the hands only have so many options because you niggas be begging, you niggas are reassuring them. Oh, nah, bruv. Tell her, listen, so I want, I want you. So, what's up? Hand says, nah, I don't, nah, that's not what I want. Da, 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 da. Deuces, leave, bro, leave. I'm not saying leave forever. You can come back once in a while to test the waters, you know. Because, I mean... I mean, why not? Shooting your shot... Is better than never trying. Shooting your shot is better than not trying. Because, man... Let's say you made a hunt. She's just, she's just banging, bro. And... She clearly doesn't want anything with anybody, you know, but like somebody always gets, the, you know, somebody always gets those calls, you know, because, you know, I know everybody goes through this way. I'm not ready for a relationship and then poof, she's in a relationship. That's because that nigga, not that he didn't take no for an answer. He just knows what he wanted. He wanted her and he got her. So, so yeah, so. Shooting your shot is better than not trying. Life is short, guys. Life is short. You gotta shoot your shot. Tell her how much you want. Tell her how much you want. Tell her, yo, listen. Here's how I want to. I mean to you like that. Chances are, the hand could actually say, nah, I'm into you. Or, I, I never thought you saw me that way. But I'm not ready for a relationship. Or, what, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. But at least you have, you have you have made your move. You told her what you wanted. If you're hella straightforward, tell her, listen. I know you're not ready for any relationship type shit. But I want you, you know, like I I I, I wanna I wanna I I I don't wanna just be a friend. Like there's certain things I wanna do, but we don't need to be in a relationship, you know? Make your intentions clear, bro. Purpose, bro. Now She's gonna tell you now nah, that's what I want, blah blah blah, cool part, that's done. But at least now she knows your intentions, bro. Because there could be a time where she's going to be like, you know, I've been single for a minute. And this nigga said doesn't really want a relationship. Because trust me, bro, she wants a relationship. She just doesn't want it with you. But sometimes these hands need to get some too, you know. So you're going to be like, okay, you know, I mean, nobody did tell me he's, he's, he's down for, you know, doing something and not getting the relationship. So she might be like, hey, so what you doing? I'm going to let hang. Because most hands... Ooh. 
yeah most hunks wouldn't um tell you like okay now nah, remember the last time yeah i want to get some they probably wouldn't text you like that they'll be like hey let's hang out and then in the process of hanging out the, the topic will come hey remember the time when you yeah like do you really want me like that you know it's a thing of they want you to make the move like if it does happen like that so you're gonna make the move you know and you're gonna be like yeah of course yeah i want you like that and i'm like we don't really need to be in a relationship i'm just trying to vibe with you like that so they'll probably tell you some bullshit story of okay but if you do this you gotta be hella discreet they're keeping you on the low they're keeping you uh you are you are basically a piece of meat bro you're there for their availability but like you gotta take advantage of that you know take advantage han's gonna think that they're using you bro you're gonna think that they're using you but you're just getting what you want some niggas catch feelings they don't catch feelings bro you know it's not for you one thing we gotta understand is Hands know who they want and they know what they want. If she doesn't want you, she wants somebody else. But trust me, just because she doesn't want to be in a relationship with you, doesn't mean that you can't get some. That is why putting your intentions clear, you're putting out a purpose, bro. Actions, bro. Actions. Oh, I'm telling you. One, don't waste your money on a hand. Don't waste your time on a hand. Make your intentions clear. If you see that, okay, now there's a potential here, yeah? then put in your time, bro. Don't waste your money, bro. These hands <laughs> gonna disappoint you, bro. They're gonna disappoint you. So save your money, use your time, but don't waste your time. <sighs> yeah, some niggas are gonna be like, yo, but like, what if I genuinely just wanna cover? I wanna make it happy, you know? Like, I want, I, I wanna be, I wanna show her different. I'm gonna say this, yeah. Some people are probably not gonna like me for saying this, but a lot of girls are as dumb as good guys. Good guys are dumb. And a lot of girls are that dumb. Girls will fall for the nigga that's gonna dribble them, the nigga that's gonna finesse them because they like the finesse. They feel like the finesse is um effort. I like a nigga that knows what he wants. A lot of good guys know what they want but they know what they want with you like good guys think about we niggas that finesse you think about me <laughs> so so yeah some hands hands are some hands some hands are dumb they want the nigga that's gonna potentially hurt them so i'm not saying go hurt the hand I'm saying you gotta play the game. If you really wanna get her, act like the niggas she's been with. Follow the pattern, bro. Follow the pattern. If this hand is into toxic niggas, become a, become a toxic nigga. Become a toxic nigga. Like, do what you gotta do to secure the bag. Do what you gotta do to secure the cheeks. Spread the cheeks, bro. The end, the end game is cheeks. But yeah, the niggas that actually really wanna cuff girls. It ends in tears, bro. It ends in tears. Because women are disappointing. But my advice to you, if you really wanted to, like, really cuff a girl. Cuff a girl that actually likes you. Um, don't let this girl to make you do the most. Make you try. Get out of, go, out of, go, out of, go out of your way, bro. Like, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Because you'll do so much. You'll push so much effort. You'll spend time. You'll take on dates. Because you are trying to show a different. But you're actually putting in effort. You're making time for the heart. And this heart will say. Yeah, you're a pretty cool guy. But like. I don't think it'll work out. I don't know. They always trace some poetry story. And you're going to try and convince her. No, listen. I can be. Uh, but personally, I've been there. They're all convincing you. No, listen. Uh, let's. You know, try and. Uh, meet you halfway on that bullshit. Nah. Hands know what they want. They know who they want it from. If you offer a hand, like, listen, I'm just trying to do this. And if she still says no, bro, there you go. Because if she really does, if she really does want you, she's going to come for you. But here it is, like, playing the long game. My friend, a lot of friends of mine say, Yo, but you got to play the long game. I don't do the long game. I'm a very straightforward person because I value my time. So I can't play the long game. I can't talk to you for three months. Nah, like, no, 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 no. In three months, you could be doing so much. Or I could be talking to a whole new different girl. You could be doing so much more, bro. You gotta be a predator. Not a, not a rapist predator, bro. Like, I mean, like, 
you need to think like a lion like a cheat like a tiger bro you gotta have a purpose you gotta have a target yeah you gotta know your prey you know you gotta know your prey so know your prey it's easier to maneuver it's easier to finesse like a tiger you are just in the bushes bro just in the bushes you're just watching but you're watching you're processing that information and just before, when they least expect it bro it's when you're jumping for the catch and they'll be like yo where the hell do you come from man you're like a perfect nigga that is because you know your prey bro that is because at this point you just cannot fail and knowing your type that there are chances that she might like you more than you like her, you know. It would be a thing of I never met a guy like you, da, 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 da. but don't get don't 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 get too deep into because she might get used to that friendly type version, bro. Trust me, you don't want to be friends with somebody who actually wanted you, somebody who actually had the potential to put in effort, bro. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that because cuffing a girl that actually put in effort unmatched bro so like that's what most guys are looking for you you we want hands that are actually putting the same effort we're putting in but um yeah having a type is so important and guys like we we settle too much we settle too much to a point that we settle for less stop doing that bro hands know what they want to a point where bro a girl could go for a nigga knowing willingly bro Knowing he has a girlfriend. Some girls even go for married men, bro. Because they know what they want from you. So meaning you have to start knowing what you want. A girl wouldn't date you if you're broke. A girl wouldn't date me because I'm short. A girl wouldn't date me because I'm dark skinned. Some girls wouldn't date light skins. Girls are brutal on that, bro. Girls wouldn't date guys who don't have cars. Girls wouldn't date guys who live in apartments. Guy. Women make their intentions clear right sometimes you can finesse the hell out of the intentions but but most women are consistent in what they want they're gonna tell you bruh you don't have a car give me a zero dude you can't send me money give me zero you can't do my nails give me zero we need to stop settling for less if she's broke let her go if she's not your type let her go if she doesn't have nice hair let her go if she cuts her hair let her go because if you like a girl that is long and she cuts her hair she's no longer your type bro people say no but you're really in love with a person no 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 cool i'm i'm the type of person who looks at your outer beauty not your inner beauty your personality is a bonus bro I'm, I'm 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 hunting for pretty hands bro but pretty hands are not for the weak bro pretty hands are for the world if you're in vendu pretty hands are for vendu bro no matter where she's from once she lands in the capital she's for vendu man but yeah basically like I, I, I like i like pretty hands but they're not for the weak bro a lot of niggas want your hand before uh, before she's your hand she got a lot of niggas in her dms when she's your hand she got a lot of niggas in your dms bro and mine 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 there's some guys that are actually really attracted to go to boyfriends i don't know it just gives them the thrill of can i get this guy's girlfriend and trust me bro those guys are smooth like hard to a point they can shake your relationship they can make this girl think maybe maybe if i just you know just give this nigga a chance I'm not gonna lie, bro. I got cheated on like that. I don't know exactly what happened. I was just, I'm an overthinker, so like, I thought about it and I was like, he knew she had a boyfriend, right? But like, he still pursued her. And he got, like, he got some, bro. He got some. Problem is, why I say women are dumb? He got her, but uh, he didn't want her. So now you've cheated on me and the nigga you cheated on me with doesn't want you. Nigga, I ain't gonna want you too, the fuck? So, yeah, guys, guys, we need to stop settling for less. Do what you gotta do. Get what you're gonna get. Okay, to conclude this video, um, girls like a guy who has his shit in check. 
yeah like a guy who has his life in order i'm not just talking about having your job having your money a, a person that has a purpose but like like do you know what you want her for you know they want they want the one such a guy that is why it's easier for niggas who are trying to clap cheeks and are finessing the hell out of these girls that's why it's easier to get them because the guy will say anything a girl wants to hear just to clap them cheeks he has a purpose bro purpose is to clap them cheeks so women are into guys with a purpose bro so have a purpose do what you gotta do because you are the one of three things you are the honest guy the honest guy will tell her listen i want to cuff you and da, 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 da. you are telling her everything you want yeah this honest guy number two <laughs> number two are the niggas that tell her anything just to clap them cheeks and number three i don't know i guess i'll tell you the one one day somehow peace <laughs>